This piece showed me that, no, this is the emotion that you want when you are singing. And I really hope that I'm not going to tear up when I'm singing. Today we're going to hear two pieces uh, in Portuguese, my mother tongue. The first one will be by Portuguese composer Pedro Faria Gomes. It's called A Memória de Anarda. And the second one, Ora Tremular, is by a Dutch composer, Jos Klepper. I chose the piece by Pedro Faria Gomes because it came into my life in a very uh, crucial moment. Uh, I was teaching at the time ear training, which I have a diploma for. And at the same time, I was uh, doing my diploma with classical singing. My teacher uh, was very keen on telling me that I shouldn't sing in choir, ensemble or any early music. And these things were the thing I, things I really loved doing. This piece, uh, A Memoria de Narda, came across my uh, stand. And uh, when I saw it and sang it for the first time, it had everything I wanted to hear in a song in terms of uh, melodies and, and harmonies and filled the, the, all the spaces filled with beautiful sound. This piece showed me that, no, this is the emotion that you want when you are singing with everyone else, singing together. This is what I really want to do with my life. The text is also very beautiful. It has a very um, Portuguese soul in it, being about a longing, saudade, this feeling of saudade that we have, longing for someone that is already gone. So it, it touches me in a very deep way because of the moment where I, where I met this piece for the first time. To sing this piece with my colleagues from Nederlands Kamerkor, it's something that I, my, the, the way I feel with it, about it, is something that I never expected. First, it's, it's uh, we are all singing in, in Portuguese, which is a very uh, challenging um, language to sing in. And also that I'm singing this piece that came in a pivotal time uh, of my life, together with my colleagues of years already. It's very important for me. The first time we, we sang it, we rehearsed it, I thought I would be fine. Well, I know the piece, I, it, everything is fine. And suddenly we started singing after a few bars. I had so much emotion that I had to stop singing because I was tearing up. Um, now it's a bit easier to sing it, but still I feel a lot of emotion and I really hope that I'm not going to tear up when I'm singing.
I'm Joost Kleppe, composer of Ora Tremular. Uh, from 25 years ago, I'm in love with Portugal, since I first came there and wrote a choir piece. The Portuguese are a, a complex people, I think, I say as a Dutchman. It's a very melancholic country, because they were very rich and they were the big seafaring nation, and then they lost it all, so they are very sad in a way. In fact, they are very proud uh, of being very sad, which is very strange. <laughs> but they're also uh, a very sunny and Mediterranean country. So they have also this sunny, sensual uh, side. And that's a mixture that appeals to me. Uh, I recognize a lot of what you said about the, the, the soul of the Portuguese being. I recognize that in the way you wrote the, the melodies, which sound like almost traditional, but they are not yet. In this piece, uh, it's also about saudade. It's about longing for someone you're in love with. And um, what's so special about this is that Pessoa wrote that being in love is more about being in a dream than really loving someone else. It's more about your own projections uh, of the other person than about really the other person. <laughs> In the composition, I express this being in love with all kinds of circling melodies. There are four soloists that stand in front of the choir and they sing these circling melodies that go to a climax and it and becomes a, a more and more of a circle, like entangling itself, uh, like you are when you are in love. You're also sometimes trapping yourself in this feeling. This piece is very well written, first of all, and it's beautiful music. For me to sing this piece with the text by Pso, which is one of the one of the or the best poet in Portugal, is very special. I am one of the soloists, so I'm singing the melodies that go from one voice to the other, and in the background is the choir singing as in a dream-like state. I think that I, I would be very pleased to not sing the, the solo and be like in the background so I could uh, experience the whole of the, of the music instead of being uh, just worried about singing my part, which is beautiful. The whole of the, the, this music is so, um, it really portrays was what, uh, what Joost wanted, I think, the dreamlike state, the feeling in love. Oh, my God. 